In amongst all the deeply disturbing and scarring content I've been doing lately, I was just thinking, why don't we put in something wholesome? What could be more wholesome than My Little Pony? Now, I've done a couple of videos on songs from Equestria Girls, but I haven't done any video on the Friendship is Magic series, and the reason that I hadn't was because I thought I'd already seen quite a bit of the show. But when I was deciding to do this video, I thought about it more and I was like, there's like nine seasons? I had no idea. And I've watched maybe two and a half. It just felt like I'd seen more because I remember it being such a big internet thing back whenever that was released. I didn't even know how long ago it was. So if you're wondering why particular songs like This Day Aria aren't in this video, that's why. Before we start, I thought I'd let you know that I have a gaming channel. So if you'd like to see me play some games, the link will be in the description below. The first song we're gonna listen to is called Bab Seed. I'm pretty sure I've heard like the main one line of this song, but it wasn't until getting ready for this video that I realized it's not Bad Seed, it's Babs. How am I surprised by a preppy sound from My Little Pony? I think it's just a different kind of preppy to what I was immediately expecting. I don't specifically know the context, but I'm assuming that she ain't the nicest person. Despite seeming mean, she do kind of look badass walking in here like this. <laughs> Oh, she's hanging with those guys. I hated those characters, man. The one with the tiara. Oh man, I don't know her name. It's probably got something to do with tiara, to be honest. I mean, I, I'm always gonna love when a show like this just uses instruments like electric guitar and drums. It feels so out of character, but in such a good way. And I was right, that is the melody I remember. And forgot how damn catchy it was, which I don't like because I already know that I'll just be chilling in my room at 2 a.m. like, Babsy, Babsy, what you gonna do? Oh, it's already happening. It's in my head now. Feels like an old, like, 90s music video with these visuals. That's probably what they're going for, to be honest. Oh, why was that unnerving? I didn't like that. Her pupil peeling. Oh. <laughs> why is hiding from a bully not right? I mean, I guess if you're capable of fighting back, that's... Yeah, not a bad idea, but you're not doing a wrong thing for hiding from someone who's trying to attack you. I would even say that's fair. Maybe even advisable. That's um... I don't remember this show having visuals that were mildly disturbing. A giant pony coming out of a movie screen while holding three sentient food objects. One she's like consuming the brains of. This isn't like, yay, I'm being eaten. This is, oh my god, my head. And she's so nonchalant, she doesn't even care. Bro, he's screaming. <laughs> Send help. Does she have home problems? Is that why? Is that where this comes from? It's like, oh, she may be an awful piece of trash that's mean to everyone, but maybe she has problems at home. There are so many people that have problems at home and, uh, you know, don't beat people up. I don't even know if that's where the episode goes, but I don't know. It feels kind of MLP-esque, right? They keep using the same visual. I don't know the extent of what she does, but you know, I guess at least she wasn't trying to burn them alive or something. <laughs> I'ma throw some apples at you and splash you with a puddle. And I guess turn myself into a giant version of myself and consume sentient movie treats. I am really hung up on that, I'm not gonna lie. It was a visual I didn't need to see, but that, that's cool, it's cool, great, good start. Music wise, very catchy. This next one I have no context for, the last one at least I knew like vaguely that Bab Seed existed. This one is called I'm the Friend You Need. It's technically from the movie, but it's the like, Pony movie, so it's still Friendship is Magic and not Equestria Girls, so keen. You are awesome! Oh, I'm just like, I'm charming. <laughs> Catman. This is what cats should have been, right? Oh my god, can you imagine the CGI cat in my. <gasps> can you imagine the ponies done like the cats in cats? Oh, I've never hated an image that I conjured more than I hated that. Oh my god. Cap was the name. Charming's my game. Well, he's the villain, right? <laughs> know if we should trust him. We could definitely use a friend out here. You know what? Little Cotton Candy here is right. He's a villain. He's evil. So evil. Not a nice place for little fillies all alone. Why does he sound like he belongs in Hamilton? To the unknown. So evil. You're never going to have a character that's like, let me guide your way down the dark alley. Follow me. I've got so many things to show you. Don't worry. I know it's a terrifying city where everyone's out to get you, but... I got your back. Follow me to these dark, secluded areas. I'm the friend 
that you need when you're lost and don't Oh, I love this vibe. Oh my god. And he has a fantastic voice. My help, you'll concede, is a plus guaranteed. You are always going to sell me with strings. Always. You could play strings awfully and I'd still be like, yeah, but... Still a violin, you know? <laughs> you can call and I'll come running, just follow my lead. How are they not sus? Like, is it only Twilight? A friend who knows what's lying in the mist. Am I hearing flute? Yeah, there's a little bit of flute. Dark and alley. Oh my god, she's so adorable. Why you could use a friend to protect you wherever you go. He's got to have ulterior motives. Like, if a character's there singing about how much they're gonna help you, I think, generally, you can assume they're a little bit of a sussy boy. Now you are in luck, cause I'm the friend that you need. He's literally pulling out the red carpet for them. <laughs> Wait, Twilight isn't following him? My help. Guaranteed. Oh, okay, she's begrudgingly doing it. <laughs> Tell Virgo, my place 20 minutes. I've got something that will magically erase all my debt. Yeah. Cause I'm the friend you need. Okay, I mean, I was right. Like, it was pretty obvious, but I was still right. <laughs> Damn, though, he got some pipes. I really like that. I also am fascinated that it was a My Little Pony song that I don't think any of the actual main characters sung in. It was just that guy. And he killed it. Who is he? He literally sounded like a Broadway singer. He's a Broadway musical artist. <laughs> I'm out here like, wow, he sounds like a Broadway singer. Guess what? He is. Damn, that was a gorgeous voice. And it literally, literally just sounded straight out of a musical. So well produced, so well done, so well sung. The next one is called A True True Friend. The last one was all about being a friend and that was a lie. But if this is from the series, I'm guessing it's actually legitimately like, oh, it's what true friends do. How sickeningly sweet is this gonna be? A true true friend helps a friend in need. A friend <laughs> Yo, a mouse looks so sad. Helps a friend in need to see the Those are some Really nice harmonies. And it is very sickeningly sweet. Why is she tied up in a cauldron? Hello? Oh! That explains why there was the close up on the cutie mark because I was not understanding the problem until I saw that she doesn't have the, the, the rainbow thing, does she? And then I, I realized, I'm guessing they've all been swapped around what they're doing each other's jobs. How the hell does that happen? Also, why is Twilight just wearing a like, tiara crown thing around? I am the queen. <laughs> Maybe it's like some magical weapon. Kind of gives off like bow before me vibes. I am the leader and I will hear nothing else. <laughs> Oh, are they gonna keep adding harmonies as people do things? Because if so, I like that. Say no more. Applejack needs your help. She's trying I can imagine a nice high note here, and I hope we get it. Okay, so I'm assuming that it is to do with losing memories or like connection with identity because it's like she'd completely forgotten everything and then got all that information back. We need to get high note. I can hear it. Give me it. Give me. Give me high note. <laughs> or like a five-way harmony, that works too. There is an element of bounce to the backing track here. Yeehaw! What was that? That was a strange shift. Let me hear that again. That's a full key change, I think. They're gonna stay in that, or was it just a little weird thing? Is she the only reason that everyone in the town isn't walking around depressed <laughs> and angry? <laughs> What a strange thing. Can you imagine living in like a small town where if you didn't have the one person that just was always happy and bubbly, everyone's lives were miserable. <laughs> Bro, that'd suck ass. <laughs> oh yes, layer it. There you go. I did think they were gonna go even higher, but it was still a really nice high note and we're also treated to the lovely harmonies. It is something I absolutely love. When songs not only layer vocals, but kind of layer vocals with this delay, so they each kind of come in at different times, it gives such a lovely depth and full sound to everything going on. 100% here for that. Compositionally, those were some amazing choices. The next one is called The Pony I Wanna Be. 
Why do I feel like it's gonna be identity crisis central here? Probably because it is. I think it is gonna be identity crisis central. Welcome to the identity crisis tour. I will be your guide, even though I have no idea what's going on or, or what's happening, but you don't need to, to feel lost. In fact, it helps. Hope you're ready to feel lost with me. Isn't she, like, awful? Unless they gave her more depth as the show went on, but I thought her whole character was just... trash person. Wasn't she even hanging around with Babseed? Oh no, is the bully sad? I mean, I can give you an idea. Uh... Stop being a bitch. <laughs> I have no idea what to do to be the pony I want to be. If you want to not be a crap person, um, you can start by being not a crap person. Just be nice. I feel like I'm gonna get roasted for saying that in the comments because maybe she had some deep emotional plot line that I didn't know. I've been told my whole life what to do, what to say. No pony showed me that there might be some better way. Okay, so she, you know, didn't have a great home life, but again, so do a lot of people and they are trash to people. <laughs> I love that slide up and the way she flows with it. Oh, are they starting to feel bad for her? They're hearing her? I guess though, look, maybe I'm being a little harsh because I think canonically, I don't know how old they are. I don't know the character law, but I would guess like seven, maybe, maybe eight. So, you know, <laughs> now I just feel bad because I imagine going up to an eight year old kid and being like, yeah, stop being a bitch. <laughs> Oh, Matthew, that's a hot take. <laughs> and at least she's showing signs that she wants to be something different. That's, that's something, right? Is it weird that I feel bad for her? I feel as though I was just taught a lesson and I didn't sign up for that. I wasn't here to be taught life lessons or to grow as a person. I was here to listen to some music. The life lesson I've extracted from that is um, don't insult Eight-year-olds. Imagine going to a seven-year-old just like, hey man, you want to be a better person? Don't be a crap person, dumbass! <laughs> Maybe I should take my own advice. The last song we're gonna listen to is called Spectacle. Okay, sure, I need a second to adjust. Can certainly tell you that after all we've heard, didn't think we'd get like electropop. I'm so, so ready for it now, but I wasn't two seconds ago. <laughs> it's just gonna be a bop already. Got a little hi hats building? Oh, yeah. I need you to tell me something, and I need you to tell me right now. Is this a TikTok sound? I swear to God, I have heard people use this audio. I just assumed it was a pop song. Okay, cool. Yeah, nice. Love it. Love that bass. It's a spectacle. It literally sounds like Lady Gaga. They got another Broadway singer. I was out here like, damn, it sounds like Lady Gaga. It's a, it's another like Tony Award winner, I think. She has a great voice. What a vibe. I would listen to a full version of this. Be straight in my party playlist. So weird seeing horses dance, I swear, man. Feels like I'm in a trip. I'm happy to end it on that, but yeah, color me a little surprised. I am so sure I've heard people use that and I would never in a million years have pegged that as an MLP song. I guess that says something, right? Either about the quality of the show or my own internal bias judgment. <laughs> and I guess I'm also surprised by the variety because we had electro pop to Broadway to weirder preppy stuff and it was all executed very well. Props to y'all, the creators, the right, the composers, the people. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to click that like button. And as always, have an awesome time until I see you next. See ya.